Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to go beyond desktop by looking at how we can take a SketchUp model and view it in augmented reality using SketchUp for iPad. So I'll be totally honest, this is not a complicated process. The actual act of taking a file and looking at it in AR using SketchUp for iPad is a button click. I mean, it's, it's literally... It's not a button, it's an icon, you can tap it. It's a button tap, it's, it's, it's an icon tap with your pencil. And it's not a complicated process, it's very easy to do. But to get there, there's a couple things you may wanna consider. So what I wanna look at today is using multiple versions of SketchUp. So I'm gonna start on SketchUp for desktop, then we're gonna send it over to SketchUp for iPad. And some things you might wanna consider about how you lay out your model so you can best visualize it when you get over into AR. Let's take a look. All right, so I have a model here, and all I did was I grabbed a couple of chairs with side tables from 3D Warehouse. So I have those just sitting here. Uh, what I wanna do is consider maybe one of these two chairs for use in my home. So I have an empty corner in my house that I wanna come in and maybe look at what these might look like, and uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna kinda play through that process, what it would look like. So I could, just send this to SketchUp for iPad and open it up and you know move stuff around so that these chairs fall in the corner of my room and I can see what they would look like. But we're here to learn. So I wanna go beyond that a little bit. I wanna, I wanna look at how to best prepare this model so that when we get to iPad, it's ready to go. Now, I do wanna point out SketchUp for iPad is of course a full version of SketchUp. You can do all the editing that I'm about to do here while you're over there, uh, but a lot of you have talked about you know, doing your modeling in one spot and how do you pass the file over to view it separately. So that's kind of the workflow we're gonna take a look at. So I just wanted to tag that if, if any of you SketchUp for iPad enthusiasts are out there and you're, you're upset or triggered by the fact that I didn't say you could edit in iPad, I apologize, but I'm not gonna. So here we go. So the one thing to remember is everything that's in your model is gonna be in your model when it gets to SketchUp for iPad. So this is no different. This isn't gonna look any different. It's gonna look just like this when I get to SketchUp for iPad. So when I visualize this, when I drop this into augmented reality, I don't, for example, want Heather in that model. Nothing personal towards Heather, but uh, we're gonna get rid of her. So I'm gonna just go ahead and erase her real quick. All right, so now we're down to just my two chairs. Now, when I place my model, I'm gonna place it once and you can move models around in AR. So I could grab, uh, you know, I could bring it in just like this and then position this chair where I want and then slide the model to the side to get the, this chair where I want. But we're gonna go just a few steps beyond that. We're gonna keep it very simple, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put both chairs in the same place and use our scenes and tags to control where things show up when we're actually in augmented reality. So first thing I'm gonna do is let's start by looking at tags. So I'm gonna look at my tags down here. I have a tag right now that came in with one of my imported options called objects. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. I don't, I don't need that here. I'm gonna right click, say delete tag. It's gonna say there's stuff on that tag. Where do you wanna put it? We wanna put everything on untagged. Boom, now everything is on untagged. Now I'm gonna create four separate tags. Okay, so I'm gonna say uh, this is option one. I'm gonna create another one that I call option two. And then I'm gonna create two more tags. One is gonna be called chairs, and one is gonna be called tables. Now, I'm gonna assign some stuff to those different tags. So this one right here, this gray house, or this gray one will be option one. So I'm gonna grab that, and I'm gonna go into my entity info, and I'm gonna say put that on option one. And this, this component, this everything, all of it, the outside component is gonna go on option two. Now I'm gonna drill down. I'm gonna double click into this first one. I'm gonna select just the chair and say, put that on the chairs tag and put my table on the tables tag. This is a little bit of nesting uh, control for visibility. Same thing here. So this is option two, but if I double click in, grab my chair, that's a chairs, grab my table. Oops, I double click, just a single click to select it. That goes on tables. Now, couple couple more steps we're gonna go through now. I'm gonna take this one, I'm just gonna slide it, I'm gonna move it and slide it right on top of the other chair. Um, 
I can be super precise in this and, and, and use some snap points, but really I just want them to be about in the same place. Uh, I can, again, sh shuffle them around a little bit when I actually start viewing in AR, but right now this is perfect. Right now, if I come in and I toggle option one, option two on and off, I can see how they disappear. And with just one of them on, I can turn off the table or the chairs. This is cool. This is fun, you know, control that I have over the pieces. And it'll make visualizing much easier because I can go, well, I like the chair, but what about the table? No, 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 no. The other thing I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to create two scenes. So I'm going to create this one. I'm going to call this chair number one. And then I'm gonna create a second scene. Whoops, that, I jumped the gun on that. Get out of here scene. Sorry, I forgot to swap. <laughs> second scene exactly like the first. So with my second chair on, I'm gonna create a second scene and I'm gonna call that chair number two. Chari, no spell detector or auto, no autocorrect in scenes. And I did this, I do this a lot. I don't know if you guys ever do this, but I typed in the new name of my scene and then I just clicked out of the scene. In order for it to accept a new name, I do have to say chair number one. I do have to hit, I hit Chari there too. Wow. Hey, I get stuff wrong, but at least I do it consistently, huh? Um, all right, there we go, enter. Enter accepts that. All right, now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and hit file save. And to get this onto the iPad, there's a couple different ways to do it. My personal, the easiest way that I do this is to take it now, go to File, Trimble Connect, Publish As, and then I'm going to publish this Chair Options file. I'm going to put it in my SketchUp file folder and just say Publish Model. Then it's going to be waiting there when I hop over to my iPad. All right, so here I am on my iPad. I'm going to go ahead and hit the Trimble Connect icon. Then I'm going to scroll down until I find that same uh, SketchUp Files folder. Click on that, and then I'm gonna scroll till I find my chair options model, and I'm gonna click on it to open it. This is gonna download it, open it locally, and there I have it in SketchUp for iPad. To actually view this, I'm just gonna go to the overflow menu and tap right here on view in AR. That's gonna turn on my camera, and then it's gonna place the model onto that grid on the floor. The first thing I'm gonna see is that default. Here's what I was looking at last, or this is that first chair. This is what, how the model was saved. So from here, I can use one finger to kind of move my model around a little bit, or I can use two fingers if I want to rotate. That's gonna allow me to place it about where I want it. Again, just enough to visualize. The only folders I have in here are tags and scenes. So with scenes, I can switch between my scenes and show the different chairs. And then tags is gonna allow me to turn off individual elements like the table. From there, it's just a matter of looking through the different options that I have and deciding which one works best. To close out of the AR view, you're just gonna click the X in the upper left corner. And that is it. That is all there is to viewing your models in AR. With a little bit of prep up front, it's super easy to do. So, like I said, uh, the, the actual viewing part, that was that last minute you caught right there. Very intuitive, very easy to do. Um, spending a little bit of time, I think it was like we were like four minutes, five minutes in SketchUp to kind of set up our model. We didn't do any actual modeling, but just assigning some information makes it so much easier to go through and just flip through stuff and see those models. And this is a great tool if you're, if you're, doing design for a customer, you can show them, here's what this is gonna look like, this is what this project's gonna look like, this is what this, this piece I'm working on is gonna look like in your house. It's also great, it's a great marital aid. You know, you go in, hey honey, I'm thinking about putting a couch here. You know, it's a great spot to do that, show that kind of thing, get the sign off beforehand. If you've ever been through that, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, an awesome way to visualize, not just for you, but for whoever it is you're working with. And a little bit of time up front SketchUp is gonna make that viewing even better and even easier. Uh, if you like that video, go ahead and click like down below, uh, share this, this video, give it to somebody else who might be interested in the topic. And uh, if you don't already, please do subscribe. We know that a majority of the viewers who watch our videos aren't actually subscribed. And it's a bummer because we create a lot of content and we create it regularly and you'll be notified if you subscribe. All right, we'll see you next time. Thank you.